walking for a while My feet are getting tired My heart's a little heavy But you keep me Hey guys, it's Noah. Uh, I want to pray and get into this word. Father God, we come before you. We thank you. We praise you. We bless you. Speak to me from the spirit and not from the flesh. I pray your anointing and blessing on this video. Remove any hindrances. Help me pray, Holy Spirit. Lead me in prayer. He said, soften hearts, all of ours, including mine, soften hearts. City being narrow. City being narrow. Remove fault finding. Remove anything like that. Give me your heart, Father God. I want your heart when I present this subject. I was just walking by. We were coming from a, a a baseball game, and I was walking by, and they had a CCV church that's right there next to Diamondback Stadium. And service had gotten out today, and as we're walking to our car, there's a Yoga Pura. I'll put it right here. So that is a Yoga Pura uh, on a, on a window. And then right under that is a CCV, and it was somebody from the CCV church. I got a buddy whose wife is doing yoga, and she's a lukewarm Christian. Okay, she's not she's not all in for the she plays with the Lord. And the thing is, is like the railing and the hatred and all of that other stuff has been done. There's people that go in and then they, they get a YouTube following because they go in and they rebuke these people and everything else. I'm not trying to do that. I'm literally, I think that pastor's a scumbag. If you want to know my truth, like the truth. I think he's a scumbag. I think he's a worm. I don't think he cares about God. I think that he, uh, he was, more, he, he, he just, that's just what it was. I don't, I don't think he really honors the Lord. You know, the Lord says that they honor me with their mouths, but their hearts are far from me. Anybody whose heart is close to the Lord knows that, like, you can't mix yoga and Christianity. You don't need it anyways. Like, you can go stretch. I pray and people, people get better. We see miracles all the time. Healings all the time. This, this just happens. I, I don't, I haven't taken a Tylenol in years. I think the last time I did was there was a little bit of Tylenol in, in some NyQuil when I got a cough for a couple days when I was down in Mexico and that was it, right? But before that, that I, don't, I don't take it. I don't, we don't need it. But the thing is, is like, if you go to 2 Corinthians 6.17, it says that only if you come out from these things, be separate, then... God will receive you. Only then does God receive you. So, and, and, and this is all in alignment. This is the paradox of Scripture. You cannot take one verse out of Scripture and make an entire doctrine out of one verse. It's a paradoxical relationship with the Lord. All of this stuff is a paradox. Okay? People who are truly saved, they don't do this stuff because they love God. You can't have anything before God, man. You can't have yoga before Him. Yoga's it's weak, it's wicked. You don't need it. I'm gonna play the rebuke. I I saw that. It wasn't even righteous indignation because I wasn't mad. I just went and told the guy. And honestly, what the only thing that I could think of was my friend's wife, like going to hell because of this stuff because she doesn't understand or she doesn't want to let it go and 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 these pastors that are too much of cowards to like tell people the truth because they might hurt a few people or, or or run some fake christians out then like that's that's on them man right like they were never gods anyways they were ne they never belonged to jesus anyway so why are you worried about them they're the people that got sifted out when when COVID hit, when all this stuff happened. They're not they're not they're not really of the faith, because people really of the faith don't do this. I pray to the Lord on this, and I say, okay, what is mixing dark with light, right? 
because I know what he's told me about music, for example. That it's, you know, as long as to the pure, all things are pure. Is it profitable, et cetera, et cetera, right? Just because something secular does not make it totally wrong and, and, and all of that, right? I'm like, but how does this work, God? Because, like, most of Christian music is just as wicked, if not more wicked, because a lot of these people are in bed with Satan anyways. They're Illuminati that have infiltrated the Christian music scene, and this is just the truth. And, you know, we're supposed to be in the world but not of it, you know, and we're not supposed to hide out under a rock and not be able to listen to Blue Bayou every now and then or whatever, you know? Like, there's nothing wrong with that music. You just don't worship those things. You don't put them above God. And you don't listen to stuff that's not profitable. If it's if if it's wicked and it's like all this other stuff, you don't you don't listen to that, right? Sometimes there's stuff that talks about darkness and hard issues, but it's truth, right? So you just don't you don't listen and you don't follow stuff that's that's promoting lies. And this is what the Lord told me. He said, not mixing dark with light has nothing to do with that. He's talking about bringing it into the temple. We don't mix dark with light in Christianity. So the things that have to deal with God, we don't mix dark with light. You can't mix dark with light. That's what he was saying there. It doesn't It doesn't mean scripture. It doesn't mean all this other stuff. All that other stuff, That's those are minute forms of legalism that... You know, people ascribe to because they think it's going to give them some more piety and clout with the Lord. And that's just not the truth. But when we do the things of God, we don't bring in yoga to the things of God. We don't like you don't bring it into the church. You don't you don't go into the church with yoga. You don't go into the church with your boobies hanging out. You don't go into the church, you know, like act like you got some sense man and that's that's just the case you don't mix with other gods you don't do that it's cheating on god think of this as a relationship a marriage with god and you're inviting other partners into that relationship how do you think that makes him feel i'm gonna play this uh this confrontation with this pastor that i had and his name is bryson he's from ccv and you know what? At the end of this, I'm going to, I may or may not put in a communique that I sent out to all the churches. And it was back in 2022. I got this word, I believe in 2020, like the end of 2020, I got this word. I'm going to, you can read it. I sent this communique to every single church that I know of in Phoenix, all over, everywhere, uh, Missouri, uh, all of them, all the big names. I, I sent this to everybody. CCV received it. If it's anybody that knows me at all, I sent it to your church. Your pastor got this back in 2022. Two pastors re- responded back. I don't know what they did with the information. Well, I know what one of them did with the information. One of them wrote me an email saying, like, right on. Yeah, amen, you know. That was uh, Todd Bears from Rock Solid. And the other guy was a guy from California, a Calvary church. And I forget his name. I'll put it up here. But basically, he didn't respond directly, but he has a, a very popular uh, radio show on, on YouTube. And he's a pastor, James uh, Caddis out of, out of Calvary. And the very following day, he knew that the reverential fear of the Lord was on that message. And he came out and he said a word and he distanced himself from the vaccine. He distanced himself from all of it. Okay. And he said it and he came out and he said it. He wasn't a coward. Those were the only two people. The so-called prophets basically like patted me on the head, called me a pastor. I'm not a pastor. They said, oh, okay, pastor, don't worry about it. We just lead people to Christ and that's their own convictions, right? And they're not, they're not, they're not prophets. Prophets don't do that, okay? A prophet knows what's right and wrong, okay? That's wrong. Two guys did something about it, and all these other pastors got it. 
Now, if this thing ends up being the mark of the beast, which I know it is, and this ends up sending people to hell, what do you think that's going to look like for all the people that were in their church pews that took this stuff? If you, I, I had a dream a couple weeks ago, like a week and a half ago, and I saw a church. And this church was, it was the first church that I ever went to. And what I saw was all these men who were basically, you know, they were pacified. Like all these men that went to this church. I even saw people who didn't want to be at that church, but they submitted under the authority of that head pastor that was over there. And they, they wasted away. And the Lord said, if you submit yourself under a man like that, that's the type of man you become. Okay. There was somebody who submitted under that for 20 years and he said he thought that I wanted him to stay there that long. He never wanted him to stay there that long. He wanted him to leave much, much sooner than that. But he was listening to the wrong spirit. Okay? This is the truth, guys. When you submit yourself under men like this, this is the type of men you become. You become weak, soft, addicted to pornography. That's what I just heard. Okay with uh, with with sin, compromising. Like this is the type of men, and there's a lot of good guys that are over there, but this is the kind of stuff that they're around all the time. This is what you become. Okay. Listen to this thing that I just dropped. That license plate says China seven seven. Listen to this thing. I just confronted this guy. I'm not doing this for YouTube clout like these other guys. I don't I don't care about this. But I want you guys to know my heart when I go approach this stuff with a brother or sister in Christ. When I go talk to them in person and this is how I do it. I'm firm but I'm fair. I'm not... You hear my heart on this, man. I'm, I'm, I'm mad. And I'm sad that so many, so many people are lost because of this. Check this out. And then at the end, I'm going to put that communique in there that I sent out. This is going to happen. This word is going to happen. I know it is. I got so much kickback from that. I had people, oh my gosh, so many people were praying against me when I dropped that word. I had, oh, Pastor Lawson from uh, Tennessee or whatever. He came out and he, he called me some wicked sinner, blah, 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 adding sorrow upon sorrow because of that communique that I sent out. The very next like day he came out on a teaching and he said that he called me he said uh, for this evil man take care of him lord just sift him out he's adding sorrow upon sorrow blah 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 that's what he said about that and i respected this guy too check this out and then look at the communique at the end god bless you guys have a good day Hey, how you going? Uh, are you a pastor here? Yeah. Uh, okay. Hey, man, check this out, dude. This is one of your people that goes to the church. Yoga, Pura, and CCB. Now, sure. listen, I'm not like a legalist or religious or anything like that, but the Bible does say we, we can't mix dark with light, man. It says come out from the world, and then I will call you sons of the most high. What yeah. you're doing here, that's not right. These people need to know. And, it, and your tithe's getting hit or whatever happens to, to, like, your rep or whatever because you confront this stuff. You don't want to go stand before the Lord and he says, get away from me. I never knew you because you were too cowardly to approach a subject like that and tell sure. these women. I got friends whose, whose wives go to this church. They don't go to this one. They go to the one in the North Valley. Yep. And because nobody has the balls to say something about this and to tell them, like, this isn't right. You don't do this. It's like, it's like if I was married to my wife and she wants to sleep around with me with another dude, right? Like, that's not okay. Do you think Jesus is okay with us going and sleeping with Hindu gods? Uh, why exactly do you think that it's, uh, that's yoga. Yep. Yoga Pura is, is a, is a religious practice. It's a religious ceremony. You put your body into positions. Uh, by the way, I, I, I do a ministry. I travel all over. I yeah. do like all of that. So like, what's I'm your not, name? Noah. Noah Bryson. Yeah. Bryson. What? Yeah. Bryson. Bryson. Okay. Yeah. I'm just letting you know, cause listen, Ray Comfort, you know, Ray Comfort is. Yeah. Okay. Ray Comfort in his Bible talked about a guy that wrote into him who was a pastor at a seeker friendly church like this. Yep. He wrote into him about this whole thing that he saw on Judgment Day where all these people went before the Lord. And so many pastors who were there, they were 
they were trembling and he cast them in outer darkness because they didn't they didn't confront things like this they were too afraid because they didn't want to offend people yeah this is not right you know this isn't right you feel the conviction of the holy spirit unless unless you like your 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 conscience has been seared with a hot iron you know that i'm speaking the truth you know this isn't right nothing is worth this bro i died yesterday i died seven years ago yesterday and I came back from the dead. I'm a prophet. I travel all over the nation. I just came back from Mexico. I lived down there for three months. Yep. Okay? We faced off with the drug cartels. The Lord sent me to pronounce judgment on the Georgia guys' homes. Okay? The reason they're, they're a smoking rubble is because I went there and I prayed and it, it's, all, it's all there. I've moved in miracle signs and wonder. I've raised the dead. I'm telling you this with authority. I'm telling you this because I care about... Like, honestly, dude, if, if you end up leading all these people to hell, all of their blood is on your hands. If you don't tell them. Now you're accountable because you've been made aware of your trespass. So every single one of these people that you're in agreement with, that you do this for, and all the other pastors, because I know you're going to go say something to them, you're all accountable. And the blood's on your hands. It's time to come out from them, man. This is like, this is no, no good anymore. You can't do this. That can't happen. You're mixing demon gods with the Lord. The Lord is sacred. He's precious. Okay? We're not perfect, but that's not okay. That's sure. cheating on him. Okay? All right, man. God bless yeah, you. Yeah, hear you. No, nice to meet you. Yeah, likewise. Pray on it, man. I feel so bad. I got a worried mind. I'm so lonesome all the time Since I left my baby behind on Blue Bayou Saving nickels, saving dimes Working till the sun don't shine Looking forward to happier times on Blue Bayou
Okay, so I hope you enjoyed that video. I just want to say one more thing. I have discerning of spirits. I have discernment. I can even discern where people's hearts, emotions are, and stuff like that. God gives me a peek. When I was talking to this guy, and you can even hear it when in our conversation, I, I even said, unless your conscience is seared with a hot iron, you don't care. And the reason I said that was when I was talking to this guy, that Bryson guy who said he's a pastor over at CCB, there was nothing there. Nothing. He wasn't moved at all. I felt no move of the spirit. And I've felt this before with people when they're, when they're too far gone. That's what I felt. When they've been turned over, when they're a reprobate, that's what I felt. It was like dead. It's like I'm talking to a brick wall. That's what I felt when I talked to this guy, when I gave him that word. He wasn't worried about it. He didn't care. He's like, oh, okay, yeah, man, cool. You know, whatever. Yeah. And when I prayed afterwards, I asked the Lord. I was like, I started praying, you know, Father, convict him, everything else. He's like, no. I was like, okay. I'm just giving it to God. He gives people what they want. God bless you guys.